We've become bored with uh, watching actors give us phony emotions. We're tired of pyrotechnics and special effects. While the world he inhabits is in some respect counterfeit, there's nothing fake about Truman himself. No scripts, no cue cards. It isn't always Shakespeare, but it's genuine. It's a life.
You're going to have to go without me. No way, mister! You're going to have to match it. You're all to let you know. You're crazy. You know that. I'm not going to the top. I promise me this. If I die before I reach the summit, you'll use me as a alternative source of food. Oh, gross. Eat me, damn it. That's an order. Maybe just my love. I have to handle these little ones.
Garland said, uh, uh, how about Sylvia? As for Sylvia Garland. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Have any plans after school? Uh, no, not really. A bunch of us are taking the ferry over to Wells Park. Wells Park? Harbor Island? You know, another one. Oh, uh, well, I can't do it. Yeah. I got an appointment. Dentist, yeah. You're going to lose a lot more than your teeth if you don't go. Lily is going to be there, and you're going to miss out making a move. Lily? Yeah, you need this. Besides, Half an hour with us to be a little seer would do you good. It's all true. It's all real. Nothing you see is safe. Nothing you see on the show is safe. It's just really controlled.
idea. Let's go backpacking around the world. And then what, Trudeau? What about college? Our parents? We're talking like a little boy. Maybe I want to feel like a little boy. I need an adventure. We need an adventure. Oh, I can't wait. I need to get out. See some of the world. Explore. You want to be an explorer. This will pass. We all find like this mountain again. Besides, you're too late. There's really nothing left to explore. But we can always talk about this tomorrow. Do you want me to make you some Tipton's green tea before bed? Go to the most common tea in America. Now available, lavender. <sighs> Truman has always been a bit of an adventurer. Such an inquisitive nature, that boy. Ever since he was born, he's always been so curious. Oh, I gotta hit the hay. I always sit him on all night. It helps me sleep. storm. But you know what? I never blame you. And I don't blame you now. Down here. 
uh, fixing the lawnmower. Sorry, Dad, today. I know. Mom told me we should really try not to upset her like that. Oh, what? What, what did you want? I miss mac and cheese. I'm not hungry. You know, we really ought to throw away that old lawnmower. Mom should get us a new one from Green Grace Grass Mowers, now available in the way. <laughs> Everyone get ready for the main swing dance. Hurry up. Back to one, freeze, don't move. He's approaching, stand by. Three, two, one, action.
We have so little time. They're going to be here any minute. Who are they? They don't want me talking to you. Oh, then don't. Make sure all is set up. I'm so lucky. 
about my dad. Your dad? Yeah, uh, I think he's alive. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you about it later. I'm definitely being followed. Who? Oh. I don't know. They're just like us. What about Lily? Nah, I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's when I'm unpredictable. That's when they, you know. Shh. Shh. Anything happen? No. Right, we need to get up. Ready to go? Fuck no. School just started. Come on, come on, come on. I told you I need to finish this. Yeah. <gasps> you need to put us suspended, you know that? Okay then, let's do it. What? You're right, I'm okay, gay, let's go. What are you doing? Mom's birthday comes only once a year, yes sir. <laughs> I 
feel like I'm being settled? Do you ever think about that? That your whole life's building towards something? Now I know nothing. I wonder all out there. You've had a chance to see everywhere and watch it all with your own set of eyes. You'll never find a place like this. It's just a silly, silly myth. The same sunrise, the same sunset. It's all you're left with. Believe me, there's nothing more than this. You can't find home where it don't exist. I feel like I'm being set up. I'm being set up. Being set up, set up, set up. Remind yourself this place is our home. Here you'll never be all alone. No one's poor with someone by their side. I'll always be your friend, true man, even though this may end. You're not being set up, not being set up, being set up, set up, set up. Between you and me, I'm going away for a long while. I wish I could go, I'm stuck in the show. We're stuck in the show. Meryl, oh, Meryl, no, no, uh, I need to speak to you. I would love to, but I'm really late. Why hurry? Uh, an appointment. Oh, dentist. Getting a tooth pulled out. Kind of nervous. Wish me luck. I'll have my fingers crossed.
Okay, and what would you like? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. We don't have anything for at least a month. A um, month? Me stuck here for hours. I can relax this all the way to Disneyland. Let's just go home. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I really don't know what I got Just 
destroy yourself, do it on your own. I'll buy company.
point is, I would gladly walk in front of the traffic for you. Well, the point is, I'd gladly walk in front of traffic for you. And the last thing I'd ever do is lie to you. And the last thing I'd ever do is lie to you. I mean, think about it, Truman. If everybody's in on it, I'd have to be in on it too. But I'm not in on it. Because there is no way. You're right about one thing, though. The thing that started all of this. Yeah, we found it for you, Truman. You probably got quite a story to tell. You want the frog? Stand by, Cranky. Go talk to him. Go, bite and count three. I, I never stopped believing. Can we move in for close up? And along with the Great Wall of China, one of only two man-made structures visible from space. Now, in its 15th gray year, it's the Truman Show! What a week it's been. I don't know about you, but I've been on pins and needles this entire time. Hello, and good evening. I'm your host, Mike Michelson, and welcome to True Talk our forum for issues growing at a show. But tonight, something very special, a rare and exclusive interview with the show's conceiver and creator, designer and architect of a world within a world that is Sea Haven Island, Kristoff! Before we begin, I'd like to thank you on behalf of our audience granting this exclusive interview. We know how demanding your schedule is, and we all know how jealously you guard your privacy. This matter is indeed an honor. Don't mention it. Well, the catalyst for the recent dramatic events is, of course, Truman's father and his attempts to infiltrate the show. But before we get into that, I think it's not it's worth knowing that this is not the first time someone from the outside has tried to reach Truman, is it? We have had our close calls in the past. But there's never been a, uh, as in the most recent breach of security, than the first intruder to be a former cast member. A dead one at that. I gotta say, writing that back in, <laughs> master stroke. 
since that was the one who started this entire crisis in Truman's life, I came to the conclusion that he was the only one who could end it. But let's remind viewers of why exactly that was written out in the first place. As Truman grew up, we were forced to manufacture ways to keep him on the island. So I came up with the concept of Dad's drowning. Most effective. Truman's been terrified of water ever since. When Dad read the synopsis for the Death at Sea episode, he was disappointed to say the least. I'm sure that's what caused him to break back onto the set. But how do you intend to explain his eight-year absence? Amnesia. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's take some of those viewer phone calls. We got Charlotte, North Carolina. You're on with Kristoff. Oh, um, yeah, uh, hi, Kristoff. I was just wondering, how, how many carries you got in that there town? Uh, somewhere in the vicinity of, uh, 5,000. Oh, that's a lot of cameras. But remember, we started with just one. He was curious from birth. Premature by two weeks, it was almost as if he couldn't wait to get started. And of course, his eagerness to leave his mother's womb was the very reason he was the one who was selected. In competition with five other pregnancies, the casting of the show determined by an air date, Truman was the one who basically arrived on cue. Incidentally, I believe Truman is the first child to be legally adopted by a corporation. That is correct. The show has generated enormous revenues, now equivalent to the gross national product of a small country. People forget it takes a population of an entire country to keep our show running. But since the show is on 24 hours a day without commercial interruption, all of those staggering revenues are generated by product placement. That is correct. Everything on the show is for sale, from the actors' wardrobes to food products to the very homes they live in. And of course, all of it available in the Truman catalog. Operators are standing by. Christoph, may I ask you, why do you think that Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we are presented. It's as simple as that. Buenos Aires, Argentina, for Christoph. Hello? Hello? Oh well, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on with True Talk. Hi, Kristoff. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Let's go to another call. No, 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 no. It's fine. I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, you announced so melodramatic into the world. Do you think just because you batted your eyes at Truman once, flirted with him, took a few minutes of our precious airtime to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, that you know him, that you know what's right for him? You think you're in a position to judge him? Do you? What right do you have to take a baby and turn his life into some kind of mock? Don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman a chance to live a normal life. The world, the place you live in, is the sick place. Sea Haven is the way the world should be. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. <laughs> he can leave at any time. If it was more than just a vague ambition, if he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way that we could stop him. But what distresses you really, Caller, is the fact that he prefers his cell, as you call it. That's where you're wrong. You're so wrong, and he's gonna prove you wrong. Well, aside from my heated comments from a very small minority, this has been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Yeah, for Truman and for the viewing public. Well, Kristoff, I can't thank you enough for giving so generously your time tonight. Now, I think it's safe to say that now this crisis is behind us and that Truman is back to his old self, we can look forward to some exciting new developments. Well, Mike, the big news is Mara will be leaving to go to boarding school in an upcoming episode. Aha! Well, we can't wait to see it. And it has been a singular honor and pleasure, madam. I know you feel
dreams are gone. This won't last long. I created an ideal world for you to show us what an authentic man can do. Free will is God, just play along. Individual. On you, and I do too. You are my word in this plastic world. I dream for you. A genuine life, unscripted by a shadow. Good afternoon. 
Sorry, I, I had to go to the bathroom. Anything unusual? Uh, no, he just finished his homework and went to the bed. At 8 p.m.? That's early for him. Why well, wasn't I told? Any unpredictable behavior must be rewarded. Uh, he just, I just thought that I was going to call you, but... Call him! What do you want me to say? Tell him it's the wrong number!
We need more light. We won't find it this way. What time is it? It's too early for a sunrise. Do the sun. Ma'am, the phone lines are jammed. There's a rumor signal that humans don't. The sponsors are granted to rip off their contracts. We're not watching the sea. Why would we watch the sea? Bring up all of our cameras.